Good evening. Um, I've just come from Jewelry Maker Studios this afternoon where um, I demoed lots of things, but unfortunately didn't demo one thing that everybody wanted to know how to do. So I'm going to have a quick go rather than try and write the instructions um, on Facebook and that is giving you a quick demo. So um, here goes. So the necklace um, started like this. Um, there's a photo above this post when I put it on my page, so you'll see the finished outcome. It starts a bit like this. So this is how you start. You need like a, a crescent moon shape, two lengths of wire. Doesn't matter what gauge of wire, so long as it's around um, not being eight upwards, because it does need to be quite strong to hold the um, cord in place or to keep its shape as you wrap around. Okay, so the top one is left bare. And the bottom one you thread as many gemstones on as you like. And then um, I'm going to use um, silk cord here. You can use any cord. In the piece from earlier, I used suede cord, which worked really nicely actually. So if you've got some at home, um, have a go at that. It, it's a lovely effect. So this is how you start. And now I'm going to take my cord and I'm just going to thread it through one of these little loops that I've created here. These loops are for. Um, hanging your necklace onto your chain when you finish, but they also act as a nice place to anchor our cord. So thread it through there and just double it back on itself. You can trim that off after. Then what you want to do is take your cord and wrap um, around the whole section and now encasing both wires, the top and the bottom of that present moon shape. And you can see that bit closer. So going around both those sections until we get to that first um, bead. Okay, we get to there. Then we want to go around just, thread around just that top wire. And so we're going to go around it probably about three times. Now I've got quite a long length of thread here because I really don't want to be going in, in if I can help it. So I've cut myself about two and a half meters worth, probably far too much, but it's better to have too much than not enough. And so I'm going to wrap around. And what I want to do is wrap along that top wire until we get to around the centre point between the two beads. So this point here between two beads. Okay, so you can see we can drop that thread down now around both and back up to the top. Okay, and then we're going to continue again wrapping around just that top section. This it was actually three times around the top one, so it's the same with the cord that I used today. It'd be nice to get your hands on that lovely kit. Three times around. And then again, you get to the point where you can come down in between the two beads. So you can see I've gone three times around the top, and then pull that thread down between the two beads. Back up to the top again and around the top section. So if I quickly work along, along there, doing that all the way along, and then show you how you get that lovely crisscross effect. Here is, and come back here. 